Hey everybody, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I'm no longer interested in reading and why. Um, I don't have, I have a lot of books here I think, but I want to talk to them, talk about them more in a group. So, um, I know it's most of people, most of people's videos like this, they do it as where these are books that they aren't going to read or books that they haven't gotten to and they don't plan on getting to them. However, some of them I have DNF'd and I will explain that later. Alright, so my first group of books I'm going to talk about are, oops, this, this stack of galleys that I got from work or arcs, whatever you like to call them. So, ARCs are advanced reader copies, galleys are pretty much the same thing, except they're still going through more editing. Um, I originally picked these books up back in August, working at a bookstore. A lot of times they'll send um, the bookstore's copies of books that have not come out yet, so people know what books are on the radar. So when they do come out, you can get, um, you know, prime prime real estate as far as retail comes so we can put the book on display where people can see it where we can promote the book um maybe even invite the author to come and speak and so when I first started working at the bookstore in June uh July I didn't see any galleys really and then in August I was literally working when um we got the shipment of galleys in and I went crazy so I took all these books thinking I was going to read them before they came out so I could do reviews. However, I have lost majority of my interest in these five books. Um, some of them still aren't out. A lot of them, no, a lot of them aren't out. One is out and I'll let you know. So this one is Trey F, my quest for identity in a forbidden world. Um, I can't even remember what this is about um and it looked like it came out in September so yeah of course I never really got to this one well that's the whole point I never got to any of these um yeah this is totally like uncorrected limited proof doesn't even have a cover on it um this one leopard at the door and it was like about a white South African family um, I think this is right after Apartheid, but I just lost interest in this. Um, there's a lot of other books that have come out that I'd rather spend my time on, and that's usually what the problem is, right? And then the next one is A World for Love by Emily Robbins. Robbins. Um, this one comes out in January. And I think, when does this one come out? This one, came, this one comes out January 3rd, um, if you're interested. And this one, Perfect Little World by Kevin Wilson. This was the one about like the family experiment, like putting single mothers in like the space where they had a benefactor if it actually like helps or whatever. I don't know. Um, I was actually excited to pick this one up, but I don't, I don't care anymore. I, I just don't care. And this one comes out in February as well, if you are interested. And 40 Autumns. This one is about like the Berlin Wall, this woman's story about, um, yeah, a family story of courage and survival on both sides of the Berlin Wall. Um, this one has come out, um, I've seen it, the hardcover in stores and that's what reminded me, oh yeah, I still have that book and I just don't care to read it. I thought it'd be a good way to like learn about the Berlin Wall and the history behind it, but I've just completely lost interest in these books so I'm just going to give them to like our little neighborhood library that's like literally a wooden box on a stick and I think people in the neighborhood would enjoy these books more than me um, I also am going to steer away from galleys most likely um, because I'd rather have somebody else kind of preview the book and then I'll get it um, the only one I've did so far is Zadie Smith's Swing Time, and that's because Zadie Smith is a pretty reliable author. You know, I've just realized that time is precious, and even though I do have, a, I think, more time to read than others, I'd rather spend it on books that 
maybe already have a few good reviews out rather than me kind of wasting my time giving a chance on um, books because they're free. Um, this is why I also haven't reached out to publishers myself to get galleys because it, it makes me feel like I'm on a time crunch and that was also the problem with this. I needed to read them before their release dates for it to be completely effective and I just didn't care about them enough to to actually do that. So this is probably one of the last times that you'll be seeing me do or really talk about galleys in bulk. I do have Homesick for Another World by, um, I forget the lady's name, but she wrote Eileen, the book that was up for a Man Booker Prize this year, and she was on the short list. Um, I, I am interested in still reading those short stories, but, um, yeah, I am realizing that I, even if it's a newer book, I rather pay my money for something that seems like it has good reviews from other people and rather than waste my time and take a chance on books because they were free you know time is money I guess in a way um even when you didn't pay for something all right so the next two books I'm going to talk about um are books that I still plan on reading however they have dropped so low on the priority list and not because they're bad books um it is the underground railroad by colson whitehead and home going by ya jesse and it's not because these books are terrible both have great reviews majority of people like both of these novels um this is ya jesse's debut novel so basically with the underground railroad i started this book at the beginning of the month i got maybe 10 pages in and lost interest I don't know if it's just Colson Whitehead's writing because I was supposed to read one of his other books in college and I just did not, wasn't interested. Um, and it was also because it was like at the end of my last semester of grad school and a lot of things did not get read at that point in my life. So um, yeah, so it wasn't holding my interest. I think also I'm more interested in nonfiction right now. You'll see in my December wrap-up that majority of what I've read this month are nonfiction books. Um, and to move on with Homegoing, um, and this also has a plays with Underground Railroad, is that they've been talked about so much in the book world this year that I just don't care about them right now. Um, I don't know if I can actually form like my own a true opinion right now because I have watched so many reviews especially with Diversathon and Homegoing be their, being their like group pick book um they all everybody said the same thing about the book and so I just cannot read it right now because I feel like I know what the what the book is about you know without reading it not saying that it loses its value but it has lost it's not importance, but the urgency to read it. There you go. It's lost its urgency to read it. Um, and so even though I was kind of thinking about those books, um, I decided to pick up Grace by Natasha Dayon um, for two reasons. I bought this when it first came out. It had a good write-up in the Washington Post. Um, this is also a neo-slave narrative about a um, slave woman who dies and she's um, narrating like her life, you know, her past life and the life of her future generation as a ghost, which is cool. Um, it's kind of beloved-esque, I think, but I started, I think I'm like, I'm 42 pages into this one and I DNF'd it, not because it was a bad book, but because, um the nonfiction thing mattered for one and because I think the problem with slave narratives or neo, neo I'll say neo slave narratives which means they were written well and far beyond um, slavery and of course they're fictionalized but there have just been so much talk about um, slave narratives like real slave narratives like Frederick Douglass, Harriet Jacobs, people like that 
Um, and then uh, you have these like neo-slave narratives, all three of them. I would count as neo-slave narratives, even though home going um, kind of steers away from that later on in the book. Uh, that I've just kind of lost interest in them right now. I still think neo-slave narratives are important as well as slave narratives because if we do not remember our history, no one else will. So we do have to keep writing and talking about it. Um, however, Grace was just feeling a little bit slow and I think that was also the problem with Underground Railroad when I first opened it and started to read it. So. I was trying to really read Down's book because I have not heard anything about it really on YouTube. I also haven't really looked for it either, so I will give that disclaimer. But, um, yeah, I just want to let people know kind of like, I guess, my book taste um, going into the new year. And um, let me know if you guys feel the same way. Um, are there any books that you're just not interested in reading? Especially popular books because I think the three, these are, the two of them were debut novels and the, you know, Underground Railroad and Homegoing were super popular this year and I just, I just can't sit down and have the patience to read them right now. I just feel like I hear and I'm looking for things that people have already pointed out to me via video and written reviews. So let me know how you feel about that. Um, how you feel about maybe arcs too. Leave those in the comments below and thanks for watching. Bye!